cleaning up the mess the semi trucks left behind. And it can be a dangerous job working so close to the interstate with cars moving past at 75 miles per hour. Travis Robinson shows us how crews are handling that cleanup today. Gary Herbst started cleaning up traffic accidents as part of his towing company 37 years ago. And Wednesday night's yogurt truck accident didn't catch him off guard. We've been at it so many years that um, I think we've handled all kinds of cargo from hazardous waste to, to eggs to yogurt. <laughs> After cleaning the yogurt for around seven hours Wednesday night, Herbst wouldn't say that yogurt is the easiest thing to remove. I think I've only been into one worse situation than this. It was a load of eggs, and they were scrambled when they went over. So <laughs> that, that, that was pretty messy. But this, this ranks right up to the top of a mess. On Wednesday night, cleanup crews were a little worried that with all the sweet-smelling yogurt lying around in the ditch, animals would be attracted to it and get in the way of I-80 drivers. But thankfully, they were able to clean up most of it on the night of the accident. With our crew here until 3 o'clock this morning, um, probably kept them all away for the night feeding. So I haven't seen any, haven't even seen tracks for them or anything. But Herbst hoped to have all the trucks clean by the end of Thursday night. Please move over for us when we're out here working because I don't know if you've got cars coming by us on the camera or not, but they're 70, 80 miles an hour. We're six feet from them. So dangerous job.